And now, once again, Mr. Peter Frampton. a bad boy. Oh, Peter Frampton here packs a punch for a pretty boy, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, so if you guys watch the channel, you know that I love this little saw. This is my 4620 that I have modified. Um, I poured it and polished it, did a muffler mod, did an intake mod. That's it. Uh, the porting and polishing uh, was really just a basic job. I didn't do anything special really at all. It just simply I poured it and polished it and that's it. Um, yeah, nothing special. Uh, I think on the, uh, on the intake, I'm at 81. So that gives 162 degrees of duration. And on the exhaust, I'm at 99, which also gives 162 degrees of duration. I can't remember where the transfers were but I'm pretty sure they were right around 20, uh, 20 degrees of blowdown. Nothing special either way. You know, it's not like I had a long blowdown or short blowdown. Um, but boy, it just came alive. That's why Frampton, Peter Frampton, one of the best selling albums of all time still, put out uh, in 1976, which uh, is the year of my birth. <laughs> and um, Frampton Comes Alive. It's a great album. Check it out. <laughs> but that's why the chainsaw is called Peter Frampton because of the I, I did a muffler mod and I, and I went oh my god the, the thing just came alive Peter Frampton so Frampton comes alive there we go this right here is um, just a spectacular little saw now and you can say all you want about oh yeah but will it last Hey man, this is one of the most reliable saws I have. It still just fires up air time. I think I got the... Uh... So uh, let's put it up against one of its peers.
Now this is a primary example of a quasi-professional, I would call it a bucket saw. You know, you keep it in the bucket with you on your bucket truck. Um, so this is not mine. This is uh, actually Aaron and Randy's and uh, they're wanting me to do a muffler mod to it and everything. So, um, but this is basically what that pole and pro was intended to be which is honestly not a professional saw. That is a little clamshell saw, and um, it is what it is. Uh, they're seen as junk homeowner saws, and um, you can consider them that if you want. I would call it, you know, I, I mean, I guess maybe I would call it a homeowner saw, but it's uh, with the way it is now, that's a pro saw. That thing runs amazing. Uh, it's outcut a, uh, my 2153, uh, it's outcut, which is a 346 XP, by the way. It has outcut, um, uh, a 550 XP Mark II. It sort of outcut a 550 XP Mark I, but it also sort of got beat by it. But, um, yeah, the thing's fantastic, so let's give this thing a shot. No wonder they want me to do something to this. Um, this is how they got it. This is brand new, brand new. It's only got about six or seven cuts on it. And they just were so disappointed. They just called me, right? And uh, so clearly, I mean, the biggest problem that this thing is facing right now is the carburetor is poorly tuned. Um, but uh, so I, I'll face that. But this is the way this is this is the way it came you know the, from a real shop a real shop that would have taken it to the back and set it up for them you know that is terrible terrible but let's get something more realistic <laughs> while i got this steel here i'm going to embarrass it as much as i can so this is a ms311 which is a 59cc saw from steel. This is their farm boss or whatever they call it. It's a farm and ranch saw. It is also a plastic case. However, it is 60 cc's. And it's a steel, right? And we all know that steel makes professional saws. Now this does have on it a uh, a brand new RS chain. It's a it's a three eighths chain, and on the on Peter Frampton it's a three two five. We do know the three two five outcuts uh, three eighths chain, but not by that much. Let's see how this does. <laughs>
that was closer for sure. But yeah, I, I, I think Peter Frampton's got more power. It sure as heck feels like it. So, there we have it. I don't know which one beat the other, but uh, regardless, they're probably pretty close. This one definitely feels like it's faster, but uh, it also feels like it's got more torque, you know? So you can say anything you want about, oh, I put a 20 inch bar on that and it'll be a different story and everything. Ah, whatever, it's a 46 inch, a 46 cc saw, so. Make all the excuses you want, steel fanboys. <laughs> I don't care, uh, but that's what you're doing. You gotta understand that. And I don't know exactly what just happened, but my guess is that that 60cc steel just got beat by a 46cc saw that was des destined for the, for the trash can because people consider them junk. <laughs> This thing runs fantastic, and I can't say enough about it. There's a lot of you guys out there that want to try porting them. Go for it, man. Go for it. This, this, <laughs> it's the best thing in the world to learn on because it's easy to port, um, and uh, if you screw it up, you can buy a good piston and cylinder setup off of eBay for 40 bucks, and it, put it right back together, try it again, you know, it's no big deal. The intake modification right here is from a echo cs 400 it's the entire intake is where it bolts onto the carburetor all the way up where it screws on the filter and everything uh yeah go for it so what i'm going to do what i want to do with this right here um i was telling you and i believe it was yesterday's video i'm wanting to get um get more involvement with other channels and so I want to send this little chainsaw to somebody else and let them run it and put it on their channel. The only thing that uh, is required is that at some point it uh, comes back to me. But the first person I'm going to send it to, if you don't have any qualms with it there, Dub, is Dub. Dub's Saw Shop. He's in Virginia. I like watching him. He likes messing with these Polands. Um, I would like to see it go to Charlie Briscoe. I would also like to see it go to Indiana Doug. Uh, and I would also, but they're so close together, they might be able to do it all together in one shot and both of them talk about it. And I would also like to see it go to Dino Joe and him actually dino it. Um, because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think it's putting out seven horsepower or nothing like that. But if this thing got anywhere close to four horsepower, geez, um, I would be... I would be happy as can be. Honestly, if it got 3.4 horsepower, really, because that's about what a uh, Husqvarna 353 puts out. Um, I think, I think it does. So if it got anywhere over three horsepower, probably, I would be smoking happy with this because regardless what the horsepower numbers show, it is a strong as hell saw. 
very strong and uh, and I'm very happy with it so Peter Frampton is going to go on tour and the only person the only thing that has to happen what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of those pelican cases I think and I'm going to make a nice foam mold to put him down inside of it so that y'all don't have to repack and repack and repack you just have the same box slap a new shipping uh, label on it and send it to the next person and uh, the only thing that you have to do is have a, a YouTube channel and make a video of it and actually turn it around and send it to someone else same deal YouTube channel they make a video of it and on and on and on hopefully it goes all the way across the country I'll put a paint marker in there with it and all over the top cover I want you all to sign it you know like Dub, you're going to be like, T-Dub Hodges, <laughs> you know? And, and I wanted to get covered, and Peter Frampton's going to do a tour of the United States of America, and then ultimately come back to me, and it'll be a giveaway song. So, uh, if that sounds good to you guys, absolutely, comment below. I can be found at Bodie dot, uh, no, I'm sorry, Bodie at WoodsmanEssentials.com. And um, email me on that right there. Maybe we can put a list together. You'll be the next person. What I'd like to see it do is go all over uh, the, the, the East Coast and wrap up around, you know, to the Pacific Northwest and hit everything in between. And boy, it'd be cool if it could hit all 50 states. That just would be really, really cool. So um, anyways, yeah, let me know if you're interested in this. And uh, we'll get uh, Peter Frampton start sending him out. out. He's going to go on tour. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay sleazy. Okay, guys. So I just am editing the video. And um, so the whole dealio with this is uh, I'm about ready to hit 2,000 subscribers, so this is my 2,000 subscriber video, and yeah, I want to give away Peter Frampton, uh, but uh, but before that happens, I want to send it around the country, and uh, hopefully, you know, uh, my subscribers will follow where it goes and see what other people think about it. Um, I'll get some new subscribers. Because it'll go to channels that haven't even heard of me yet. Well, that kind of stuff. You know, just working together and uh, making, helping each other out and everything. And then in the end, after the tour is over and Peter Frampton is back home, then uh, I'll go ahead and do a, a giveaway and, and just give him out to one of my random subscribers. Um, uh, the This does not count as the one that I'll be giving away this winter, that 4510 that is mine, that is give, getting, that's going to be given away. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, and it's the way this stuff goes. I, I stay busy. So, but anyways, um, I hope you liked the video. Uh, it did not beat the 60cc steel. That's, I, I want to say that's a little disappointing, uh, disappointing but it's not. <laughs> it's not disappointing at all to me. It was right there with it. And um, the the steel, you know, if it had had a 16-inch bar and 325 chain, it would have cut even faster than it did. I know that. That stuff's not lost on me. I just don't care. The uh, That little 4620 is a fantastic saw. And probably the reason why it felt like it had so much more power than the steel is because of how small and light it is. And... Um, but that was more than the 16-inch bar could handle. You know, I was having to go around to the other side and, and cut off that little little nipple. <laughs> I, call it, I just call it a nipple. <laughs> that little bit, a little chunk of wood that it couldn't get to. So, um, and that's red oak. That's good, solid red oak. It's a little bit pulpy on the outside, but, I mean, you can see it was only about that much of pulp. The rest of the stuff's good hard wood good hardwood and man the thing just cuts so unless you have a branch 
that is as big as that tree that I was just cutting. <laughs> that's a that's a whole tree. That's a that's the big tree. If you watch the channel that I had a, hooked onto my tractor and pulled up, and it, it it's it's a big deal. It's a it's the tree that I cut with the John's Red uh, twenty fifty five. Uh, so I got a video of that being used. Um, actually, I could I could find that video and see how this compares to that 2055, just because I cut all the way through that same tree with the 2055, and I can see what kind of cut times it had. I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, so um, you can see whenever the Echo 4310 is running. So the 4310, I've got a 16-inch bar on that. And it's a 16-inch bar on the uh, Poland as well. And the Poland is incapable of getting through the tree. While if you watch that 4310 portion again, you'll see that the tip is sticking out like that far. So the, the tree is considerably smaller when the John's Red 2055 and the Echo 4310, right where they're cutting it, is considerably smaller than what the Poland is cutting. So I think it's safe to say that the Poland will outrun the um, uh, 2055. That's saying something, folks. Uh, that, that That is saying something. And as well as... Uh, the 2055 is wearing a brand new uh, Husqvarna SG93, and the Poland is wearing the uh, Steel RS chain. And um, from what I've seen, is the uh, SG93. I think that's what it is. It's the it's the the new X cut from uh, Husqvarna. And that is faster than the um, uh, the steel RS chain. So my point is, is the Johnson Red beat the Poland. However, the Johnson Johnson Red was running a faster chain, and the wood was smaller where the Johnson Red was cutting. So I bet you that Poland is faster than the uh, Johnson Red. If it's yeah, if it's not, it's right there, right there with it, which is really saying something. The 2055 is a heck of a nice zippy saw. Um, so, anyways, long enough video, but I was able to throw in some cool little extras there at the end. Wasn't that? That's was cool. You wasn't expecting that, were you? <laughs> uh, so, anyways, um, yeah, let me know. Send me an email if you guys are interested in receiving the saw. I'll try and get a list. Uh, put together and um, you know like maybe may, maybe the first person I send it to should be like uh, Brennan or um, you know Brennan Cass or Bellhopper or uh, uh, oh god I can't remember I can't I'm so sorry I'm forgetting your name <sighs> this makes me feel bad <laughs> the the blonde guy that hangs out with Brennan and 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 Bill Hopper all the time, young blonde guy. Sorry, uh, just mind fart. Uh, anyways, let me know. Uh, I'll start getting stuff together. Definitely want to end up sending it all the way up to uh, Dan from Kane's Custom Garage, and um, you know he's all the way up in Washington though. So, 
all over the place. I wanted to go everywhere. Let me know if you're interested.